Okay, uh, year nines. In this video, we're going to have a quick discussion about um, how do we choose the best average to use. And it's a little bit of an inexact science, but uh, we'll see what we can do in this short time. So because the mean adds all of the values up and then divides them by a total, um, that's best to use when you have what we call a normal distribution. And what I mean by that is data where most of the data is around the middle um, and it's symmetrical. So um, if you've got lots of data out one side, you've got lots of data out the other side. So you'd have all of your sets of data would follow a distribution that kind of looks like that, where most of your data is in the middle. And so that's what, um, say, heights distribution would look like, something like that. The median is best to use when you have um, extreme values that might um, affect your data. So use when you don't want extreme values. Extreme values to affect your average. And an example of where this gets used a lot is house prices. Because if we made a scale here um, of house prices where that's zero and say that's 200,000, 400,000, 600,000, 800,000 and so on, um, 1 million, da -da -da -da. Um, If you look at say um, five house sales in the last month or so, uh, you'd find that most of them would probably be around that 400 to 600 mark. But then you might have one property in, in say, you know, Fendleton or something that's well over a million. And if you worked out the average, the average would be somewhere around here. Uh, sorry, if you worked out the mean, the mean would probably be up here. And to say that the average house price is over 800,000 when five of them were far less, sorry, four of them were far less than that, it doesn't really make sense. So in this case, we'd choose the median, which is the middle value, that one there, which would be about, say, 480. And that's a, a, um, a good um, example of where the median is more appropriate because it doesn't count the extreme values. Uh, when we're using the mode, we want to use the mode um, when we're interested in the most common or the most popular. So, uh, for example, if you're working in sales, um, you want to be able to sell the item that uh, is going to be the most popular and so you will be interested in the mode because that will tell you which is the item that you need to single out as your best. Um, so often in categorical data um, the mode is very useful um, but where it's not useful is where we've got a normal distribution or um, lots of um, data where all the data type or all the data responses are different. So each um, average is used in different scenarios. You've got to work out which is the most appropriate. There's no work for this video, um, but I just wanted you to have a think about why you might use some the averages sometimes and not use some averages in other times.